I got a dictaphone. You got two dictaphones. Yeah, they look really neat to me. And you can record stuff with them, so I thought it'd be a cool thing. Every time I mention them to my friends, they all giggle and laugh about it. Yeah, just mention the word dictaphone and you're guaranteed to get a giggle out of all of your immature friends. <laughs> <laughs> I came down to the pawn shop today to sell my dictaphones. My grandma used to be a secretary and she handed it down to my father and I cleaned out his shed and he let me have it. It looks really old and like an antique and I thought it might be worth some money. I want $100, the least I'm willing to take is $80. This was the competition to Edison's version of this. More or less the same thing, a little bit different. When Edison invented the phonograph, it was such a big deal. I mean, people couldn't even comprehend the idea of recording sound. I mean, it just didn't exist. These were a really common thing in an office, like a law office and things like that. There's a thin diaphragm in there with a needle on it, and when you talk, it vibrates the diaphragm as this little thing's moving across the wax cylinder as the wax cylinder is revolving. It's the same as a record, it's just a cylinder. So you want to sell both of them? You want to? Um, yeah, I'd like to sell both if I could. OK, and how much were you looking to get out of them? I was thinking maybe I could get $100. <sighs> I. I, I think they're a great piece of history. I mean, they're a great thing to talk about, but there's actually a lot of them out there. For uh, some, it was one of those things people threw in their garage yeah. <laughs> and didn't want to throw the antique away. Uh, and there's not a really big collector's market for them. It's just a losing proposition no matter what for me. If you gave uh, them to me, yeah. I would still lose money on them if I restored them. I'll take 50 if you want to give me 50. No, I mean, it's one of those things where it's not worth it to me. Um, thanks for coming by, though, man. OK. Nice meeting you. Thank you. I'm not too disappointed. I'll just bring it back home, put it in the shed, and let the cobwebs grow back all over it. <laughs>